Finding good resources for learning audio programmers is not easy. I know because I was constantly asking my professor, my peers and my colleagues what are good resources to learn how to process sound with code. After going through all the recommendations, I've put together my own top 10 list of resources for learning audio programming so that you don't have to look for it anymore. If you don't know me, my experience in audio programming is three separate university programs, namely acoustic engineering, computer science and advanced signal processing. I have also worked as an audio software developer at two companies and I have also worked twice as an audio researcher. Other than this, in my free time, I read a few books on audio programming, sound synthesis and software engineering completed a few projects related to it, and I've been running this YouTube channel and the related blog since 2019, so for the last two and a half years. And I'm not saying this to brag, but rather to tell you where my top 10 list comes from. Obviously, I couldn't go through each and every resource on audio programming, but i recommending here the ones that I've gone through and I can recommend because I benefited myself from them immensely. So this is not an ultimate best list, but this is my personal list. Nevertheless, I am sure that you can benefit immensely from each and every one of the mentioned resources. I would like to mention a couple of points before we start. So this is my subjective list. So you obviously may disagree with some of the positions there, but it's not a problem. If you disagree with some of the positions, please mention it in the comments below so that other viewers can get different viewpoints on the topic. The second thing is that these resources are not ordered. So please don't pay any attention to the order in which they are mentioned. Finally, this whole list and also a lot of more other positions in total 36 resources are on the related webpage on dwolfsound.com under dwolfsound.com slash resources. And I expect this list to grow over time as I discover new, good or worth to recommend resources to learn audio programming. Okay, with this in mind, let's start. The first resource that I would like to recommend is the Computer Music Tutorial by Curtis Rhodes. It focuses primarily on sound synthesis methods and as such is a great sound synthesis catalog, but it also discusses the basic of, of programming, digital signal processing, the internals of digital signal processors, the MIDI protocol, also automated mixing and algorithmic compositions. What's interesting about this book is that it's primarily directed towards musicians. So it's not difficult in terms of, let's say, software, or mathematics that stands behind it. I read it in full and I highly recommend it. The second resource to learn audio programming and digital signal processing is Discrete Time Signal Processing by Alan Oppenheim and Ronald Schaefer. This is a great reference book. If you need something that is related to digital signal processing, you'll probably find it there. I love the parts on digital filters, the Z transform, and the basics of sampling. The third resource that I would like to recommend is already more audio focused. It's called Digital Audio Effects and it's a group effort led by Udo Zulzer. In this book you'll find a huge catalog of audio effects and it contains not only the descriptions of the algorithms but also source code and plots and also related formulas. It covers everything that you might imagine related to audio effects like filters, timescale modification, reverberation and even virtual analog algorithms. So if you want to code an audio algorithm, make sure if it's not described in sufficient detail over there so you can reference it. Also, there's a conference under the same name that unites the digital audio effects community each and every year. 
The next book on the list is not as much related to audio, but it's related to programming. And it's the C++ Programming Language by Bjarne Struisrup. Obviously, if you want to process audio with code, you need some programming language. Of course, there are a lot of to choose from, for example, Python or MATLAB. I found that most of the, let's say, real-time audio-related projects are implemented in C++. Of course, some other projects may be implemented in C, some of the newer projects may be implemented in Rust, but still I think C++ is prevalent. And who is a better person to learn uh, about C++ from than the author of the language itself? And I found this book, I read it cover to cover, it's over 1300 pages, and I highly recommend it. If you're uh, scared of such a volume, then it suffices that you read the first five chapters of the book, which give you an exhaustive tour on the language and make you ready to start working with it. One disadvantage of this book may be that it was written when C++11 was around, so it's not updated to the latest standards, but for me personally, it wasn't a problem. And if you already know a programming language, the next book to read is The Clean Code by Robert C. Martin. I believe it is a book that every software developer should read, and it covers all the best practices a software engineer should practice. If you don't want to read this book in full, I have a condensed summary of this book on my channel, and I link to it in the description below. When you read Clean Code, I think the next step is to read Design Patterns by the Gang of Four. Design Patterns is a catalog of solutions for commonly recurring software engineering problems. So if you have some experience with code, you'll find it incredibly useful. For me, this book was a revelation because each and every pattern was a solution for a problem that I've encountered in the past. So please read this and apply it in your software engineering practice. The next book on the list is not related to audio or programming at all. It's called A Mind for Numbers by Barbara Oakley. But I put this book on the list because I believe it is a manual to the brain how to learn. It actually teaches you how to learn. And it's I found it incredibly useful. It allowed me to score the top grade point average in my master's degree. And if you're struggling with learning uh, topics related to science, then please, please read this book. And also it contains a lot of testimonials of people who struggled with learning, but eventually succeeded at it. Highly, highly recommended. The next resource on the list is a book by Julius Orion Smith III, a professor from Karma at the Stanford University. It's called Introduction to Digital Filters with Audio Applications. This book, as well as other books from the scientists, are available for free on his website. And that's part of the reason why they are so widely cited on the internet. The other reason is that these books are directed towards students. So they are incredibly well uh, written when it comes to explaining things, contain a lot of useful formulas and plots. So it, they really explain very well some of the concepts of more advanced audio processing. So be sure to check it out. The second to last resource on this list is Operating Systems, Internals and Design Principles by William Stallings. It is a book on operating systems, so how operating systems such as Windows, Linux or Mac or Android work. And I'm not saying it is the best book on the topic because there are a few out there, but that's the one that I read and I found really, really useful. This book guides you step by step how to build a whole operating system starting with a simple digital register and I enjoyed it a lot. And it may be surprising to be on this list, but I really found out in my experience that for an audio developer, it's really important to understand concepts like threads, 
processes and synchronization when they write real-time audio software and you will find all this in this book. And the final resource on the list, the number one resource to learn audio programming is of course the Wolfsound blog and the related YouTube channel and especially the newsletter. In the newsletter, you'll get a condensed summary of the Wolf Sound content from each and every week and also tips and tricks related to audio programming. I also like to think about it as a community of linked experts on the topic, people who are interested in audio programming. So if you haven't done that already, please head on to thewolfsound.com slash newsletter and sign up today. Okay, these were my top 10 resources to learn audio programming. Do you agree with this list? Would you add something to it? Please let me know in the comments below. If you haven't done that already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button to let others know that this video is worth watching. Other than this, if you benefit from this video, please consider buying me a coffee over at buymeacoffee.com slash Jan Wilczek. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Take care.